yeah, I'm definitely in Brazil. I, I want to record with the window open, but I'm going to have to shut the window if that's going to continue. Bem-vindos de volta para um novo vídeo. Hoje eu vou falar sobre um pouco meu Natal no Brasil. Se é a primeira vez que você assistiu meu vídeo, eu sou britânico, morando, viajando, visitando o Brasil com minha namorada brasileira e estou ficando com a família dela. Estou aprendendo português, então meu português não é perfeito, mas eu vou, eu vou tentar, eu vou, eu vou falar um pouco inglês também. Então, vamos começar a conversar sobre meu Natal no Brasil. Primeira coisa, o dia 24 no Brasil. Eu acordei muito cedo com a comida cheirando bom. Em Inglaterra, 24 é um pouco diferente from Natal em Brasil, no Brasil. 24 é um dia normalmente as pessoas trabalhando até meio dia. Então, depois, most people will go home and either prepare for the next day, maybe buying more food in the shops, maybe going out to get your last minute shopping. Now, no Brasil é um pouco diferente. So let's talk a little bit about the day, 24 de dezembro. 24 é um dia no Brasil. It's the day, no? Like the day that everyone gets together and the families meet and they wait till they spend the evening together at midnight and they they have dinner at midnight, which is completely different in the UK. 25 is the day that we celebrate and we have our big dinner. Obviously, I woke up on the 24th in the family of my girlfriend's house and her mother was cooking food very early, starting very early to prepare for the big dinner. And that is like something that's, that I'm used to on the 25th, like where the, the smell of Christmas dinner is, it starts early and you think, yeah, it's Christmas today. It's Christmas. So yeah, I already felt that, you know, 24 was, was special in, in Brazil and a little bit different to what I'm used to in England. Como foi meu, meu dia 24 no Brasil? So I decorated the house a little bit. I decided that we were gonna buy some more decorations for the house and we, we put some lights up around the house just to get a bit more into that Christmas spirit. And I also did a little bit of cooking. So in England is a little tradition of mine to make some little snacks for Christmas. Um, usually this consists of like a tipo uh, linguiça, porco com cranberry. I don't know how to say this in Portuguese, but I mix these two things together, then I roll them in a pastry to make what we call a sausage roll. Normally, we have this in England without the cranberry, but when it's Christmas time, I feel like cranberry is, is quite a seasonal flavor. A lot of things around Christmas, we have we have cranberry sauce with our Christmas dinner, so. We, we often put cranberry in, in different types of food around Christmas time. So yeah, I made these type of sausage rolls with cranberry inside. I'm gonna show you. Come closer, I'm gonna show you. So it's like a, see so it's like a, a crunchy pastry. Mm -hmm. And you got your sausage in the middle. And like a little sausage roll we call. As you can see, the sausage meat inside is quite red because of the cranberry. I also made or for more so, gingerbread men. So the gingerbread collection is complete. A random dog in there. And another random dog. But it's time to put them in the oven now. Yes, so I made these as well. I wanted to contribute a little bit of something from England to, to, to the table here in Brazil. Also made a little bit of mulled wine, which is another little traditional thing we have in in England. Chipo vinho com canela e laranja e não sei esta palavra. Um, is a type of, ah, I forgot the word, it's kind of like a herb. Oh, we call it clove. Enfim, 
So I made this as well and I had a little bit of this to drink throughout the day. You know, just to get in that Christmas spirit as well. And as it came to the evening, we were expecting to spend it with some of Tommy's family. Of course, more people came than expected. I feel like this is quite typical in a, in a Brazilian family that more people come than you expect to come to family dinner. So we had quite a few people at the table. Not loads, but quite a few. Let's talk about a comida. A comida do natal. So you guys have a meat here, a type of bird here called Chester. Now é frango, now é peru, mas é Chester. Estou um pouco confuso como a Chester. Porque eu nunca ouvi sobre a Camira Chester, a Passaro Chester. <laughs> so, I was curious, right? And I was like, what is a Chester? If it's not a chicken, if it's not a turkey, what is a Chester? What type of bird is it? So I googled. Now, guys, I don't know if you know, but a Chester is a very interesting topic. It's quite confusing, but basically it's like a, a certain breed of chicken that's been bred with another certain breed of chicken to make a super chicken. A super chicken that has huge breasts and huge thighs. Here's a Chester right here. And this Chester looks like he's been on steroids. It's not actually on steroids, it's just been genetically bred to, to create a kind of bigger chicken. Apparently it's fed organically as well, so it's not like it's been injected with, with weird things or anything. It's, it's natural. It is a type of natural chicken. It's been bred for a Brazilian company which distributes across Brazil, especially at this time of year, and is responsible for like a third of sales for Christmas dinner in Brazil. Very interesting fact. If you didn't know about Chester, go look it up because it is quite interesting. And if you did know about Chester, let me know in the comments. And if you do have any more information about the bird Chester, then put down in the comments and let me know because I'm quite curious about this, this uh, food. I have a video here. I'm gonna show what our Christmas dinner was. foi gostoso, muito gostoso. The Chester was very good. It, it's definitely different, it's definitely different. It doesn't taste like chicken, it doesn't taste like turkey. It kind of has its own flavor in a sense, um, but it was very good, very nice. And the rice was also very good. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but my, my sausage rolls made it to the table as well. I think I confused the, the Brazilians with this sausage roll, but they did like it. I think they were just a bit confused by the idea of having uh, like, Linguiça com cranberry um, was a little bit different for them, but apparently they liked it, so that's good news. And also, Tammy's grandmother loved the gingerbread man, so I got the approval on those. Probably gonna have to make some more as well. <laughs> but they were approved of, they were approved. So, yes, in Brazil, you guys wait till midnight to have your dinner. We waited till about 9 pm to have our dinner, which for me is later than usual, you know, for a big dinner. I was waiting all day big expectations for my first Christmas dinner in Brazil. Had to wait a long time. Admittedly, I did struggle a little bit. Foi um pouco, um pouco difícil para mim. Maybe I didn't eat enough throughout the day because I was trying to save myself for the, for the dinner. So I made the mistake of trying not to eat too much and then ended up really hungry. Nonetheless, I still very much enjoyed that Christmas dinner. And the strange thing is, is like, we sat there for the night talking with the family, etc. You know listen to Christmas music and I know obviously like I said most of you guys have your dinner at midnight so when it came to midnight I was like looking out the window and I could smell everyone's Christmas dinner at midnight and like I must have went to sleep about 1 a.m. with the window open because it was quite hot and I could smell everyone's dinner coming through the window at midnight <laughs> which was quite a strange thing for me because like as soon as it hit 12 o'clock I could just suddenly smell like all this food coming out of the oven it must have been going on to everyone's table. Proximo dia 25. 25 é um dia especial para mim. So 25 is the big day in, in England. It's the day that most families get together and have their big Christmas dinner together and 
you share their gifts with each other and you know you get a family that you haven't seen in a while uncles and aunties you haven't seen in a while that come over and you will have Christmas dinner together now in Brazil obviously that happens on the 24th and the 25th was like a day of relaxing it was a beautiful day one of the nice things is that the weather is good the weather is warm in Brazil at this time of year obviously in England it's in the deep depths of winter so it's very cold it's not very often you get to go out because usually it's just too cold maybe you go out for a little walk after dinner but it's very cold so you don't stay out for too long but 25th here we went outside to the park we had a walk around it was a beautiful day very nice I enjoyed it it was different being outside on Christmas day in the warm and actually kind of you know sweating <laughs> it was a different experience so yeah we went out for a walk in the morning a nice chilled out walk in one of the parks in Brasilia and then after we came back we had again Chester we had another lunch and then after we played some games we played some games with Tommy's family just relax and I had a couple beers it was like a very nice Christmas day for me something that usually I typically do with my family on Christmas days Eat, eat a lot, have some drinks together and then play games together and just kind of relax, spend time together. Favorito coisa sobre Natal is to spend time with family. I think that's the most important thing and not only the most important thing but the thing that I enjoy the most is to be able to see family and, and spend time with them. You, you all have time off from work together so it's nice um, to, to have that time together. In the evening in England it obviously gets even more cold because it's night time. You just don't go out, you don't really go out. You can't go out, it's cold. You might go to a family's house in the evening, you might go to someone else's house in the evening for a few drinks, a friend's house. But here in Brasilia, we went outside and it was warm. I was in t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> and in Brasilia, they have like a big kind of display of Christmas lights in the center. I went down there with Tammy's family and it was very busy muito, muito cheio lá. and it had a good little atmosphere there you know it was Christmas day it was the 25th and everyone was outside enjoying themselves. I filmed some stuff out there so I'm going to show you a little montage of what was going on there. Muito, muito lindo. Muito lindo. So one of the biggest things was being able to go outside and, and being outside in warm weather, going out in the evening in warm weather. It was just very different to me, something that I'm not used to, something that I've not experienced before Christmas time. So yeah, muito legal. Muito, muito legal. Of course, I miss my family in England. A part of me wanted to be in England celebrating Christmas with my family. But on the other hand, what helped was being here with Tammy's family and celebrating with them. It was in very good company, the food was good, the atmosphere was nice. And yeah, I really enjoyed it here. It was good to be able to spend Christmas with Tammy's. It was good for her to have the opportunity to spend Christmas with her family again. For me, that's the most important thing, is just being around family at Christmas, whether it's Tammy's family or my family. It's just good to be around family at Christmas. That's the way I see it. So yeah, guys, all in all, 10 out of 10, my rating for Christmas in Brazil. <laughs> Highly rate it. Proximo coisa é heavy on. Heavy on? Heavy on. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say it. New Year's Eve in Brazil. Obviously, I'll be spending New Year's Eve here in Brazil. I'm going to be ready with my white t shirt to celebrate New Year's Eve in Brazil. So, yeah, that's going to be the next experience for me. I'm going to see how that is. I'll make a video about that and share that experience with you guys. Let me know how your Christmas was in Brazil, guys. I hope that your Christmas was good. I hope that you were able to spend it with your family and have good food and just enjoy the Christmas season. And let me know if you know about Chester. Did you know about Chester? Did you know about the secrets of a Chester? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, that I'm liking. Say inscribe me no meu canal. E me siga no Instagram, fale com Jake. 
and uh, Ate Mais, Ate Logo guys, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!